Merry Christmas. I don't want to do something like this. Mess up with it. Austin got me a new camera. I'm just playing with it right now. <laughs> uh oh. She's Here's facing the old this ladies. Look, oh, old lady, she's saying. Austin <laughs> playing on his old new thing. Man. I got him. Button. <laughs> a kitty hiding. And the beautiful tree too. Oh yes, <laughs> and our beautiful tree. I gotta charge this battery. It's really gonna die. This looks really nice. Hey y'all. So it is, let's see, Christmas is Tuesday. It's now Saturday. I had planned to vlog and play around with my camera a whole bunch. But honestly, um, I was sick all week, had to work from home, and I'm still kind of getting over it. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm trying to like mess with my hair or whatever. But if this will focus, you can totally see my nose is like wrecked. Ugh. Made my lips chap like my, my whole up here is just a mess right now because of being sick but i'm kind of feeling better again and let me see if i can find a place to sit the camera down I'm kind of feeling better again I'm like 90 percent there and we are kind of in like a cleaning decluttering type phase at the moment we're not taking the christmas stuff down yet probably going to do that next weekend or sometime during the week but um <coughs> sorry I need a drink. I'm using my Golden Girls cup. This is so cute. My friend Suzanne got me this. If I remember, I'll link her channel down below. I don't think she's made a video in a while, but she does really cool like vintage hauls. Yes, I know I need to redo my nails, but um, yeah, so we're kind of just doing that. We just brought everything out of our storage unit. We'd gotten a storage unit. Oh, the lighting's weird. We'd gotten a storage unit. Maybe I'll put it over here. Dude, just on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. We got a storage unit when we were trying to sell the house so we could stage the house a little bit better. And uh, then when we decided to pull the house off the market, we ended up needing to do some improvements to our basement, which was a whole hot mess in itself. So it has been incredibly rainy in the Maryland region, like the mid Atlantic, this year. And we kept like having water come in the basement. We couldn't figure out how it was getting in. We tried a few different things. Nothing worked. We couldn't figure out how the water was getting in the basement. So we decided, okay, fine. We pulled the house off the market and we had the wedding and we wanted to get that out of the way. And then we had someone come in right after Thanksgiving because honestly they had to go to so many people's basements. That's like the soonest we could get them anyway because it's just been the rainiest year ever. So... Someone came in and they were going to put in a French drain and a sub pump while they start digging up the basement and lo and behold, there at one point had been a French drain and a sub pump. So they completely filled up where the sub pump was and they did not completely fill up where the French drain was. So we would have never had any of these water issues had they just completely filled in the French drain because water was getting in there and had nowhere to go. Things you don't know when you buy a house. It's like so stupid. Am I recording? Yeah. Anyway, that was really dumb. It made me so mad. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna message them on Facebook and tell them how dumb that was, but it's like, no, I'm not. Not worth hunting them down and doing that because it's just stupid. So we got that fixed. So we kept everything in the storage unit until after that because it was some stuff that was meant to be in the basement too that we had gotten rid of. To like stage the house a little nicer so all of that is back in the house now so we don't have to pay for january we wanted to get it out at the end of december and i'm just kind of in cleaning decluttering mode we pulled a bunch of stuff out of the attic that we had up there because we wanted to put all the bins that we keep our bed in when we move it because we have a sleep number and it disassembles into a bunch of different parts and it's got a modular base and that base itself you have to like take it all out into a million different pieces and 
we have these big bins that we put it all in and pack it all in whenever we have to move it. So we have that all in the attic now because we took all the crap in the attic that was up there out. It was just a few random things. I actually, we had like this little pink three drawer plastic storage bin. I've honestly had it since, I've had it for like 10 years. I've had it since I went to college. So 10 and a half years, <laughs> it's crazy. It was like a little extra bin for storage in my dorms and I posted that on Facebook and gave that away for free. Yeah, so we've just been doing that. We brought our spare bed back in for the guest room, although I think we're gonna probably turn that guest room into an office for Austin at some point. We're still kind of on the fence whether we're gonna list the house or not. If we do, we'll just go with the same exact pictures we used last time because the house really hasn't changed at all. Like, pictures are gonna be exactly the same so there'd be no point in retaking them. But I'm not going to keep it in the same staged state because it's just impossible to live like that when you're actually living in the house. But we're still debating because the mortgage rates are going up and, oh, there's a spider up there. I'm going to let him be. Oh, anyway, the mortgage rates are going up and the housing prices in the neighborhood we're looking to move to are, all the houses that are semi-nice are going up at astronomical prices right now. And I don't even know why they're going up at these crazy prices because they're sitting for months and just coming down and coming down and coming down so it's like these realtors are kind of stupid like they're smoking crack or something but oh hi kitty hi so yeah someone's very demanding of my attention <laughs> so that's that I feel like I was just rambling on for a very long time so yeah, we're kind of in like cleaning decluttering mode right now. My office is a mess, as I'm sure you can see. We just pulled um, this really cute bin or cart out of the attic. Austin's dad got me that one year for Christmas and I love it. It's so cute. I used to keep like the wine and the wine glasses and stuff on it. I have to figure out if I still want to do that with it or if I want to put it somewhere else in the house. It'd be cute in the bathroom too with like products and stuff on it but we have so much storage in our bathroom that we really don't need it there but I might put plants on it too We're, I'm gonna think about that and then on it I've got lots of stuff that I've put aside to show in my what I got for Christmas video which by the way also got this camera I'm filming on which I'm really excited about I have been wanting to do more vlogging for so long but I just had not placed any priority on getting a new camera because the one I have, I've got a Canon EOS 70D or something, yeah, and I love that camera, but that's not a vlogging camera, that's for like sit down videos or pictures, which I want to get back into taking more pictures, and I'll talk about this in a blog post. I have been trying to post more frequently on my blog too at amandaphenomenon.com, so check that out if you're interested. But um, I keep seeing people post about their word of the year and I'm thinking this year my word needs to be engage, both re-engage and disengage. And I'll get more into that in my um, blog post about it, but definitely need to re-engage with all my interests. I let everything go by the wayside this year, just focusing on the wedding and being stressed with trying to sell the house. So that's life. I also have like tons of stuff I need to post on Poshmark right now that I just need to get organized and yeah, I've got hair everywhere. I really need to get this back, this uh, room organized so I can vacuum. I've got Christmas packaging and boxes to put away and yeah, life is just a little crazy right now but that's okay. I'm looking forward to doing all the organizing. I wanted to do a lot this week, but this week was a total wash for me. I literally laid the entire week on the couch. It was horrible. And I mean, I just showed you guys my nose. It was horrible. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on organizing here in the room. I might take some pictures of clothes to post on Poshmark and get stuff going. I'll put my Poshmark handle down below if anyone's interested as well. I think it's Amanda Phenom or Amanda Phenomenon. I don't know if it's the whole name or not because I don't remember but I don't know. I'll link it down below. 
I've been really enjoying doing that. I mean, it's not like a significant amount of money extra, but it is a few bucks here and there I'm making. And I, I, after I started to like take it serious as like a little hobby, I made a whole spreadsheet for this year, starting this year. I've had my Poshmark for longer than just this year, but I made a whole spreadsheet of everything that I have for Poshmark. Like, if, whether I purchased it or whether it's just from my personal collection. If it's from my personal collection, it's something I'm for. I don't count that as a cost, but, like, I count all the costs for things I buy specifically for Poshmark. And then I make sure that I'm actually making money <laughs> instead of just throwing my money away on a hobby. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not bringing in big bucks. I'm not this girl that's going to sit here and tell you I'm making six figures on Poshmark and bought a house on it. I would love that it's fun but I don't have time for that and I mean I would love to like have an online job completely but I also don't hate my real life job so I think that that doesn't really push me and motivate me I really like the people I work with and I enjoy what I do so yeah I'm just rambling at this point but I'm glad I feel better. I'm glad I can get on my new camera and talk to you guys. It's the Canon G7X. And I will film my what I got for a Christmas video on the other camera so I can show you guys this. But I love it. And I'll talk to you in that video a little bit about why this is the one I wanted. But yeah, gotta get my life organized. Kitty really wants my attention. I'll show you guys Kitty. She's so cute. Kitty! <laughs> of course you're looking the other way. She's not about the camera life. Alright, I'm gonna set this down and finish my coffee and get to work organizing something because my life is in shambles at the moment. Alright. W-O-O-N. We're playing Scrabble. That's a word. It's what? W-O-O-N. Woon? Woon? I don't think it is. Oh, that's a word. Yeah, look that up, boss. I don't, have, I don't have my phone. Oh, I thought you were just looking. Hey, you can use mine. W L L R N. Oh, you okay. do have your phone, you little turd. O L L is Wind that put wool? Right down. Wool, yeah. yeah, that's wool. Okay. No, okay. It's not a word. Hey, oh, okay. hey. Still looking a hot grandma mess. But I am. It's Sunday. And I can think I can say I'm like 98% better, which is great. I still feel a little boogery, but the sinus pressure is gone. My nose is still peely and gross, but I have a plan. Austin is left for the football game. His mom and grandma are going to go to his cousin's house to watch the game, and I'm going to have the house to myself. So right now, I actually just wrote up a big list for a video I want to make, all the items I want to make sure I gather together for my 2018 favorites. I was going to do just like a recent favorite, so that I realized, wait, it's December. Just do one for the year. And then I think I'm going to do an empties video. I want to vacuum. I want to do some cleaning. But right now I'm watching some YouTube videos. Right now I'm catching up on um, Catherine Moen. Who is a vegan YouTuber. She does like a lot of vlogs with her family. Um, her and John Venus are married. I really like them. And I'm painting my nails. So I've got my like little uh, base coat on. I'm not drying. Because for some reason it doesn't matter. What product it is doesn't matter if it's fast drying for everyone else everything is slow drying on me don't know why so i'm just giving it a good amount of time and then i'll probably do some cleaning i had to charge my vacuum i started using it and it died so but i haven't had it on the charger in like days i love my dyson though like i love that thing i'm so glad i bought that i blocked i bought that on black friday and then i bought a did I buy my Clarisonic on Black Friday? I don't remember when I bought that. I don't know. I didn't buy much on Black Friday, honestly, because not a lot was speaking to me. I got a couple things from Tarte, but nothing like earth shattering, just like basic stuff I'm going to go through a lot. I'm still not buying makeup aside from the basic face products that you go through. So like foundation, powder, mascara, everything else I'm not buying. So lipsticks, blushes not buying any of it and I've been going through a lot of stuff I keep doing these full sweeps through my lipstick collection where I 
literally try everything and if I don't like it the day I wear it then I'm getting rid of it. I've got like a little bag that I give them to my friend and then she goes through them and I think she gives them to her sister if she doesn't like them so I make sure they find good homes unless they're old and gross then I just get rid of them but yeah. So I just wanted to check in. That's what my day is looking like. My vlogs are going to be super boring. <laughs> I feel like at least this first one, maybe the second one. I'm trying to like post a weekly vlog a week. Just get into a good rhythm. We'll see if that actually happens, but that's what I'm aiming for. But I feel like they're going to be super boring for a little while. That's fine. Whatever. That's, that's fine. I'm okay with it. Because life is not always interesting, but that's alright. I do want to show you guys this. I love this. Ugh. My Arkansas mug. Last thing, obvious. I think they were visiting um, the Walmart headquarters or something for some sort of authorization to build signs for them or something. Austin is in the billboard business. Not like the actual selling the faces for rent every month business, but like the actual building the steel structures type business. So yeah, whenever he travels and he remembers, he gets me a Starbucks mug, which I love. And actually one of my, not my direct boss, but like my director at work, Sometimes he'll remember and he'll grab me a Starbucks mug too, which is so nice, so kind. Especially because he drives me nuts sometimes, so I'm like, oh, you are a nice guy. Anyway, that's my day. I'm hoping to maybe post a few new things on Poshmark. Not new things, but just things I've been like loafing around on and need to post on Poshmark. And getting this room organized, because that's really the big crux of what's going on in this room to make it not organized is just things hung all over the place that I need to post on Poshmark that I'm just being lazy about for some reason or another. Yeah. So I gotta do that. Maybe I'll do that right after I paint my nails. That way I've got a little bit of time to let them dry a little extra longer before I get in the shower. That, that's a good idea. Okay. This is not super interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get about my nail painting business and then I will talk to y'all in a little bit. She's ignoring the shit out of me. Well damn. Rude. Anyway. I don't remember the last time I checked in but I've painted my nails, showered, filmed one video, did a ton of vacuuming up in here. Got piles of crap I need to move elsewhere. <laughs> laundry I need to do and now I'm making dinner I'm making some buffalo cauliflower wings using the hot for food recipe let me set my camera up here yeah that should be good and then I like kind of made her ranch sauce kind of did my own thing I usually add avocado oh goodness videos are just coming on I was watching um, Mikey Pierce's video where him and the guys go see Connor Maynard on Broadway in Kinky Boots. I like the YouTube guys from the UK. They're, I don't know, I just find them more interesting than all the drama LA people. I don't know. Personal preference. What is this? Why is this weird? No idea. So. My wings should be halfway done because you have to cook them in the batter and then you put them on the... Sorry, I'm like burping up the storm. I'm drinking kombucha. So you, you put them in the batter, bake them, put them in sauce, bake them. So I'm about to pull them out in like less than a minute, maybe, maybe a minute. Yeah, it's been a busy day. And I don't know what else to date y'all on just been watching a lot of YouTube and doing a lot of stuff. Oh, I posted a bunch of stuff to Poshmark like I mentioned I was going to do earlier. So if you are at all interested in anything I'm selling on Poshmark, go check me out. I am Amanda Phenom, I think. Let's just look. Couldn't hurt. Yeah, Amanda Phenom. I don't know if it's going to focus on that, but got some cute stuff in the boutique that y'all should check out. Oh, someone liked something. 
just to offer them a little price and see if they buy it. Yeah, so that's what my day is looking like right now. It's not super interesting, but it's just been a big catch up day because being sick all week has really knocked me on my ass. So much has to get done. It's just ridiculous. But I've got eight seconds until the oven beeps to take these out. So I guess I'll check in when the food is done. I totally forgot to show my cauliflower wings. There's the bowl and my dressing. It's all dead. This is a very small cauliflower, so I was able to eat it all. Although honestly, all that hot sauce made my cheeks big. Oops. Anyway, so I'm watching Real Housewives of Atlanta now. Wow, well, sorry, crying, and I started crying. I'm like, oh, she's so sick, and she hasn't even left. I was totally ready to leave when I went to college. I was all about it. I'm like, get me the hell up out of this house. Never got along with my dad. My parents are together. But I've never got along with my dad, and I was ready to be out of that house. So, yeah, I was pumped to move out when I went to college. It wasn't even an independence thing, it was just like a get me out of here kind of thing. So I'm watching Real Housewives of Atlanta now and I think after that, if I have the energy, I'm gonna go upstairs and film the what I got for Christmas video so you'll probably see this outfit again. Because I filmed my empties video for December as well. And I guess it's two videos in a row with no makeup, but whatever. This nose is not gonna take makeup. I don't even think I'm wearing makeup tomorrow to work because so it's just like, what's the point? Okay, my shit's back, but I think I'm gonna do that and maybe a blog post. We'll see. And I think I'm gonna try and upload vlog every Monday. So it'll be like the whole weeks and weekends worth of activities. So I might end up editing this too. We'll see. Hey, it is Monday morning. I'm super tired because Austin snored all night. And yeah, I'm heading to work. Didn't end the vlog last night because Austin's mom and grandma got home and I ended up chatting with them. Well, his mom was already home. His grandma got home. We all ended up chatting for a while, so didn't even come up and finish everything I wanted to finish, but that's fine. But anyway, this is the official end to the first vlog filmed on my Canon G7X and I will hopefully have more interesting ones coming up soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye!